Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today, we are going to introduce you some common disk part commands to help you manage your disk. We have two parts in this video. Part one: Common disk part commands. Part two: The best alternative to disk part. Disk part is a command line utility. That provides the ability to manage disks, partitions, or volumes in your computer. Users can input disk part commands directly to organize hard disk partitions. Most disk partition operations that you can perform in disk management are integrated into disk part. Here, I bring you some common commands with examples. Let's check out. Let's open disk part first. Type Windows at R to open the run box. Then input disk part and click OK. Remember to press Enter after each command you input. Type list disk to display all the disks in your computer. Each one will have a specific disk number. An asterisk under GPT row. Means the disk is of GPT partition style. Type list volume to display all the volumes on all disks. When we are going to manage the disks and volumes, we have to tell disk part which disk or volume to manage. For example, here we choose disk one and volume one. You need to type select disk one. Or select Volume One to give it focus. To view what Disk Part can do for you, just type Help to see a list of commands. Next, we will take some of the most common commands that Disk Part uses as examples for you to get a further understanding. We take Disk One as an example. This disk only has one volume, which is volume four, and all the operations in the examples were based on disk one, volume four. Number one, delete volume. To delete a volume, please refer the following command: list volume, select volume four, delete volume. And then you will receive a message says disk part successfully deleted the volume. Of course, you are not able to delete system volumes. After deleting, it will become unallocated. Then we can create a new partition. So number two, create partition. To create a partition, please refer to the following command: create partition primary size equals. One hundred and two thousand four hundred, and then you will receive a message says disk part succeeded in creating the specified partition. The above command means to create a one hundred and two thousand four hundred megabytes, around one hundred gigabytes primary partition. To create other types of partition, you just need to replace primary with one of the followings. Number three, format partition. Type list volume command. You will find the new created partition is R A W, which means you must format partition before you can use it. To format a partition, please refer to the following command. Format F S equals N T F S quick. And then you will receive a message says. Disk part successfully formatted the volume. The above command means to perform a quick format on the partition. To create other file system partition like FAT or FAT32, you just need to replace NTFS with FAT or FAT32. But disk part cannot format partition that over 32 gigabytes to FAT32. To format a large hard drive to FAT32. You can turn to the previous video to check it. 
Number four, a signed draft letter. A partition without a draft letter will be hidden under File Explorer. To assign a draft letter to an existing partition, please refer to the following command: assign letter equals D. Number five, extend partition. To extend a partition, there must be adjacent unallocated space on its right side. Please refer to the following command: extend size equals twenty thousand four hundred and eighty. The above command means to add twenty thousand four hundred and eighty megabytes, around twenty gigabytes, to the volume four. Number six, shrink partition. Shrink desired equals ten thousand two hundred and forty. Number seven. Mark partition as active. To mark a partition as active, just input active. Number eight, convert disk from MBR to GPT. The most common disk part commands used on the disk should be the MBR and GPT conversion. To delete all partitions or volumes on the disk and convert the disk between MBR and GPT, please refer to the following command. List the disk. Select disk one. Clean. Convert GPT or convert MBR. Then you will see successfully converted. Although disk part is able to manage your disk and partitions, but it has many limitations and it is not powerful enough. As disk part alternative. Alme Partition Assistant is a partition manager software and disk management tool, which provides more features than disk part. Just Google Alme Partition Assistant, download and install it. Let's take a closer look at this software. Run Alme Partition Assistant to come to its homepage. To perform an operation on a partition, you just need to click on it. The operations supported by Alme Partition Assistant will show up on the left side. Here are resize and move partition, split partition, app mover, which can directly move the programs on C to other drive to free up C drive space, clone partition, create partition, delete partition, format partition, and so on. Also the same for a disk. Click a disk, then you will see the options like above. Disk part in Windows can meet the basic requirement of most users, but Alme Partition Assistant is more advanced than it and provides more amazing features. That is all for this video. Hope it can be such a help for you. Want to know more about Alme? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.